Now let's create a class name my first zip surflet that extends uh, the class zip surflet. Okay, there we have it. Now let's have a look at the API documentation of the class zip surflet. Here we have the method surface. It is the entry point to the zip surflet. That is to say, the container passes the incoming message to the zip surflet through this method. We normally wouldn't want to modify this method, whose default behavior is to determine whether the message is a request or a response, and then pass the message further to the method do request or do response accordingly. Down the road, either the method do request or do response inspect the message further by reading the header of the message to figure out the type of the request or the response. For example, if the request is an invite, then the method do invite will be invoke, passing along the request to it. Similarly, if the response is an OK, then the method do success response will be invoke. Now you can see these are the slots where we might have to fill in our message handling logics. So we want to deal with the invite request. Here's what we have to do. Basically, what we want to do inside the do invite method is first we send a ringing response back to the caller and then we slip for five seconds. And then we send another response that is the OK response back to the caller. There is a little detail here. The invite message from the caller contains the information of the media. It tells the network location where the caller is expecting to receive the media packets. Now understandably, the caller also expects to be informed about the network location where the other party, in this case our first zip surflet, expects to receive the media packets. This information is supposed to be found inside the OK response sent back to the caller, embedded as the message body. This information is specified in the SDP format. Uh, SDP stands for Session Description Protocol. Now, our first zip surflet really is a simple one. It is neither interested in receiving media packets or capable of sen sending media packets. So, we tell that to the caller by sending an inactive STP. The key here is uh, setting the value of the A line, the attribute line, in the STP message to inactive. Additionally, you have to create a black hole by specifying the IP address in the C line, the connection line, to 0000. And the port number in the M line, the media line, to zero. This will ensure the caller will not try to open a connection for streaming media to the zip surflet.
We also want to handle the buy message because we have to respond to buy with an OK so that the sender can do a proper cleanup. That's all the Java codes needed for now. But we still have one more thing to do, writing the descriptor. Think of it as the zip server flat secure file of WebXML in the HTTP server application. The file name of the descriptor here is zip.xml and it must be placed inside the web ENF folder, just like the WebXML. Let me just copy and paste it and explain the content. In the zip XML, you define the zip surflats that should be made available. We do it the same way as we would do it for HTTP surflat in the web XML. We also have to define a mapping for the surflat. The difference from mapping in the web XML is instead of specifying the pattern of the URL for invoking the surflat, here we specify the pattern of the zip message that would that would invoke the zip surflat. The pattern is a Boolean expression that will be matched against the value of various fields in the initial zip message. Please take notice here. The pattern only filters initial zip message. Let's suppose there was an invite request came to the zip application server and it was passed on to zip server flat name X. Subsequent requests that belong to the same dialog as the one initiated by that invite, for example the associated by request, will be automatically handled by the same zip surflat X. That is to say, we don't need to specify surflat mapping for the by request. We only have to specify it for the invite. Now let's build a war. I mean, let's make war. Finally, now we can deploy our application to the BIWeb Logic zip server. Please watch me doing it. Dirimu yang tu 